so is. Okay. We just heard his prayer. Matthew okay, so bringing, bring, coming back to the justification thing you had, okay? So if he would have failed and there was no justification before that, then Enoch would have had to have been thrown out of heaven. Is that correct? Well, your statement is everything is okay until you said, and there was justification back there. There was no justification back no, there. Yeah, I think there was. Yeah. No. I Not think I the whole thing was in place. Yeah. Where, where so is that? What would have happened? No, no, no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If you're going to make a statement that's supported from Scripture, where were we justified in the Old Testament? From Scripture. In order for him to be translated, he would have had to have been justified. Everything was based on a promise. The main reason, one of the main reason that Christ died on the cross was to show the universe that God would be destroyed and, and, and the whole world the whole world would be destroyed without without any forgiveness, grace, and resurrection. Share that with me from Scripture. The primary reason saying... Well, okay, if you're not going to if you're not going to support it from Scripture, Jim, I respect your right to believe whatever it is that you want to believe. I'm not I'm not taking that right away from you. But you I can't, cannot... You can't, you can't counter it from Scripture. So what are we talking about? Then let it go. I will if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Any other questions? I would like to make a suggestion. I know that the book that we're supposed to study this quarter is directed to whom? And it's plural. Paul raised, people speculate about half a dozen churches in what we know today as southern Turkey. Okay? Folks, this is a present day message. Because as we will study for the next 12 weeks, the issue with the Galatians is that they listen to what supposed scholars were telling them about Jesus' sacrifice. That it wasn't enough. They still needed to do something. You know we have the same problem today? Yes. In 1994, a book was written by the associate editor a ministry magazine, a very popular magazine. Many, many, many non Seventh day Adventist ministers subscribe to this, to ministry magazine. The associate editor of ministry magazine wrote a book. His name was Martin Weber. And the book was really an interview with the five leading scholars in the Seventh day Adventist church. And the title of the book is Carl, would you read that for us? <coughs> Who's got the truth? Thank you. <laughs> and then it has a picture of the five scholars. This is a compilation of interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews with these five scholars by Martin Weber, associate editor of the Ministry Magazine. One of the interviewees was so upset that Martin Weber was going to print this, his interviews, one-on-one, face-to-face, -on -face, face interactions and on the telephone he found out that this book was going to be printed and he used all of his clout all of his influence to snub it so Martin Weber had to go to a secular printing house to have it printed when you see it was printed now why was it printed Carl you just read the title for us what does that say there Making sense out of five different Adventist Gospels. There's not five Adventist Gospels. And then he prints the different versions of these different scholars' versions of the Gospel. Now, why did he write the book? What does that say? It's so confusing. <laughs> I just brought the book I had him read. Okay? Just the, that's the issue we face today. We have, I'm told that there's about 70 different denominations 
you know, under the Protestant umbrella. And that doesn't include the independent, independent ministries in these denominations, of which we have in the double digits. Is God a God of order or a God of confusion? Order. 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 Yeah. Is this word inspired or not? Yes. You must make that decision. And at some point in your life, you must decide what is God's version of the gospel. That's what we're going to be studying for the next 12 weeks. And next week, we're going to touch on the problem in, the, in verse 6 through 9 of Galatians 1. We're going to identify one of the many issues of having all these different gospels <coughs> in Let's have prayer.